Great afternoon. <clears throat> I wanted to ask about um, Trump. Remember from the beginning I've said they're going to get him on RICO charges, running a criminal enterprise under the name of his Trump organization. Okay, so through the cards and this is what I got. Um, I asked, are they going to come after him with RICO? And uh, most definitely, they're coming after him with the truth with two barrels, okay? Um, so as quickly as they can get this case ready, they will be coming after him. That's the situation. Action is it's a tower moment for him. They're, they're going to, um, you know, come after him every way but Sunday. And I like this one here, the tower moment. They have the big eye behind it. You know, they're looking at everything. You know, he thinks it's just sour grapes, but they are coming after him, okay? Um, it's going to be swift, and it's going to be hard. The outcome is death, an end to his organization, okay? Um, I like this. They've got the Tao written behind this. He, he, you know, he's been bleeding from the thing. I mean, just, you know, hemorrhaging. <laughs> so, you know, they are coming after him. Uh, and it's going to be an end to the Trumpian organization. But I wanted a clarification on the death card, okay? Is it an end? Is he going to win it as an end? Or, you know, what's going to happen? But what I got is empress this is my card for our laws our value system so they're going to come after him with according to all our laws uh, as to the things that he has done how he's run his organization how he pulled it forward and um, how he's always managed to snake and find some loophole because this is the card the nine it's uh, this deck it's called resilience how he's managed to stay above board. Well, he's always found some way, like, you know, he was about ready to have, he had, what, six bankruptcies? He was going under again, and then he did that money laundering. He sold this property to this oligarch for a ton of money, and the guy never used it. He never came. He never, you know... So he's been resilient in finding some way, some scam, some something to keep himself afloat. But now we have that the, this is all the burden. Everything is tied up. Now you see with this card, it's all tied up with a nice little bow. He's no longer carrying it. They've got all the information. He's not getting away with anything. And it's all tied up with a nice little bow. Okay. Um, ready for his conviction, okay? <laughs> so this will indeed, um, coming after him, tower moment and the end of his organization. Um, it's a done deal. So just wanted to share that with you. We'll have to watch this unfold. Uh, hopefully they get this thing ready sooner than later, but uh, there are so many avenues and things to look with this. He's been doing this money laundering for so many years, and not only him, but his kids are involved with this as well. So there are a lot of elements, a lot of things they still need to put together, but it is coming together, and it will be his undoing. So. He may skate, you know, with this um, impeachment, second impeachment. Hopefully they can still censure him. Um, and let me ask that. Um, will they censure him in some way so he cannot run? Now, I don't know if they have to remove him first to, to do that. Um, or if they can just do some sort of a censure. So let's ask, will they censure him so he cannot run?
in 2024. He wouldn't be able to anyway. They'll be coming out. He'll be in the midst of this trial. This is my feeling for the RICO charges, okay? And I don't think he could run while he's in the middle of a trial on RICO running a criminal enterprise. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a criminal, okay? I've been involved, and they know he's been involved with the Italian mafia, the Russian mafia, okay? So, you know, he's got a long-standing thing that they've looked into with all these criminal organizations he's been involved with. But let's see, will they censure him so he cannot run in 2024? Okay, so situation is this is something that is rapidly coming that, that needs to be um, something done immediately. Uh, yeah, that's the situation. Uh, the action is, this is the, let's see. These do not have numbers on them, so we ain't got to sit here. <laughs> oh. Okay. The situation is an abundance, looking at an abundance. Abundance of information. Okay. I think this is the nine. And the outcome is the magician, magician. So um, even though something needs to be done, it looks like, again, 9 out of 10, he's going to uh, skate. Looks like he's going to skate. So I'm going to pull a couple of clarification cards to see. But uh, once again, magically, yeah, they're determined on their action to, you know, As far as it, people are not going to be happy with this, um, the magician. That's the meditate card. Uh, but again, um, we've got the, the investigations that are going. So, yeah, transition. So it, it may be murky there. I'm going to look up this card just to make sure of what it is. Um, okay, yeah, no, this is the 10. Yeah, okay. Hundreds of swords, yeah, the underneath of it is the hundred of swords that they've made. Um, yeah, they're going to make nice, going to make nice. Okay. Um, and so I think the determination is that the uh, Repugly Uglies are going to continue to protect him. And magically, again, get him out of this yet again. Um, People are not going to be happy with it, but don't forget, we have these investigations that have been ongoing, and that's going to move us out of this troubled water of having to deal with him again. Um, so even though he may not be censured from being able to run again, he won't be able to anyway because uh, at that point, he will be into these criminal um, he'll be on facing criminal charges in court. So I'm gonna leave this here. <laughs> Love and light to everyone. Don't forget to mask up and I'll see you online.